hi it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do a reading for Capricorn for the month of April so this is for Capricorn Sun Moon Rising and Venus for the month of April this is being recorded in March so it may not resonate till April so I would uh, urge you to watch it in April could resonate now but this is kind of like a preview all right and keep in mind that not every reading is for you. If it doesn't resonate, then maybe your rising sign will, or who knows, your Venus sign, um, or your moon. So whatever, watch another one. Maybe that one. Maybe that's where you're at this this month. I don't know. Or I may not be the reader for you. There's so many good ones, right? So Capricorn, what do we got? You know who one of my favorite readers is? Who seems to be always, always dead on? Is Ace of Pentacles Tarot. I mean, I don't know if you've seen her or not, but whenever I watch hers, it's like, oh my God. Ace of Pentacles Tarot, she is really good. Anyhow, let's get a card for Capricorn. Intuition. Now this is an overall energy, so. This is the High Priestess. Going within, perhaps you're going through some sort of um, spiritual awakening. Maybe you're developing some of your six senses at this time. You are definitely receiving messages and you are seeing things clearly. There's a divine connection here. So keep that in mind. Capricorn. What do we got for Capricorn? You may be um, sought out for guidance, okay, because of your high intuition. People may seek you out, seek out your wisdom or whatever. We have a very uh, awakened individual here. Somebody that is highly intuitive. Capricorn. Definitely. Definitely. We have, we have, this is like um, Jesus consciousness. All right. Somebody is definitely highly awakened. Okay. There's no doubt about it. We have a very wise individual, like, I don't, did I say wisdom? I let my readings go so fast, I can't even remember. Somebody who is very wise. Um, this is solitude, reflection. Maybe you're taking a time out to reflect, to, to go through this awakening. Maybe you're receiving things or changes or messages so fast or inspirations or whatever. Go, somebody is going through an awakening, no doubt. I mean, I, it's unbelievable, put it that way. Um, maybe this time of solitude or um, reflection that somebody is going through is much needed. There could be some anger that's built up that needs to be released. There could be some bitterness and some resent that needs to be resolved. Somebody needs to take a new approach and get unstuck from their old thinking, their old ways, from whatever it is that's keeping them in a period of lack. And I think the only way to do that is to go within and come up with plan B or whatever. Reflect, heal perhaps from something. Mm -hmm. Working really hard, putting in a lot of effort. I think somebody is definitely secluding themselves at this time very going into like a period of of solitude definitely not really wanting to communicate with people um going through in a spiritual awakening and i think it's because they have been really hurt by another person okay i mean but that fight is they've been they've dealt with some conflict and some power struggles in the past 
that have definitely kept them stuck and kept them um, in a in a troubled place. But I think that you have, or somebody that is watching this has found the ability to put in effort into themselves. I'm just going to work on me right now. That's what it looks like to me. I'm working on my heart chakra. Um, and there's definitely some some conflict here. There's going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And I think that you may be being pulled in a couple of different directions, Capricorn. You are. I think that perhaps you are being, feeling conflicted over maybe getting into a commitment or going through a new doorway. You know, I think that you have an opportunity perhaps to go through a new doorway and you're going back and forth as to whether you want to do that or not. And it feels like maybe... There's a little bit of tension. There's definitely some tension here. There's tension perhaps over being able to balance work and love. Work and commitment. And you're being pulled in two different directions. Is You know, you got to work, but you want this happiness. You want this partnership. So I think that you're definitely going back and forth. And I think that you may be dealing with some... Maybe you're dealing with somebody who is kind of... Uh, pushy so anyway I feel like you may be retreating maybe you're deciding it's, I just need to retreat because I can't handle both at one time right something like that who knows Capricorn Sun Moon Rising and Venus we got four cards wish fulfillment whoo be careful. This is be careful. The seven of swords. Reverse. Be careful. Some truth could, somebody could get caught or some truth could come out about something. Um, lack of integrity. There's somebody, you could, you could be dealing with somebody who lacks integrity. Um, there could be somebody that has some tricks up their sleeve. Be careful. Be careful. You could be dealing with somebody that is very manipulative. Um... Yeah, you could definitely be dealing with somebody that is not as honest as you would like. I mean, I have to I have to be honest here. I have to be honest here. Um this is there's an, there's there's overindulgence here. There's there's abundance. There's a lot here. We have something it's it's a lot. I mean, somebody may be having a lot to offer. Maybe you don't trust them. I think that you're dealing with somebody who wants you to give them a chance. But maybe you feel like you have other options or you think they have other options. You're trying, you're, you have to make a complex decision. Do you have time for this? You're dealing with you. You could be dealing with another Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but this is a solid, stable offer. This is solid, and I think that somebody's in the process of making a very complex decision about is this the right choice? Is this the right choice? Um, there's a lot of messages going back and forth, perhaps messages coming in and out, and these are the rods of love. Be careful; you could end up falling in love. But there's there's deception, fear of deception anyway. Maybe you fear like this person will go back to something. Maybe a past relationship. I don't know. There's an opportunity for happiness here. But somebody has to stop lying to themselves perhaps. I don't know what this magician is. We're gonna, we gotta get another card for that. This is thinking about going back or... 
not shedding the old, not taking action, not using the resources to start over. Somebody may be afraid to try new things here. And they're taking time to think about it. There is communication going back and forth, but and there's an opportunity for happiness and a big, huge opportunity. You know, this is the perfect match for you, Capricorn, um, whoever this person is. Um, this person definitely has a big opportunity, big offer. But you may feel like Maybe you feel like you're vulnerable. Maybe you feel like you're not good enough. Maybe you feel like, you know, you don't, maybe you lack self-confidence or self-esteem. Maybe you're afraid to open up. Somebody is afraid to open up here. Afraid to start over. So there's afraid, it's afraid, it's afraid. Somebody is definitely afraid to start over. There's an opportunity for happiness, something that could really be something that you could, you know, grasp onto and um, keep, you know, this is something, it's a big, solid opportunity. And this, whoever this person is, whether it's you, Capricorn, or it's the person that you're dealing with, I mean, there's, there's an oppor there's a golden opportunity here for a good relationship. There is. But somebody's afraid to open up. They don't have the strength for some reason, or they don't have the self-esteem. There's lack of self-esteem. There's fear. This is fear. Fear of starting over, but there's a there's a lot of, there's attraction. It seems really good, right? It does seem really good, but there's lack of confidence. There's loss of focus. There's somebody here that is not really able to think positive there's negative thinking in the way mm -hmm. and somebody has to, to be strong and make a decision you have to make a decision so yeah we have we have a, we have a couple here that is probably you know meant to come together but we have somebody here that's trying to protect themselves from getting her also trying to protect his people trying to protect the people around him trying to you know keep things in order trying to keep everything you know do the right thing trying to um make sure that everybody is happy with the choices that he makes so uh, i feel like we have an opportunity for two people to come together it's a it's a strong power couple kind of situation but there's lack of confidence it's lack of self-esteem a lot of inner power struggles about going back and forth do I can I handle this can I can I handle this I mean with the nine of cups to the ten of cups could lead to extreme happiness and wish fulfillment It's a, it's a really good match. And it really is. And many times the emperor is Capricorn. It's a very strong willed man. <coughs> I got a couple more cards. There's been an ending. There's been uh, almost feeling like defeated. And it's like now this person wants communication, wants to open up, wants the other person to open up, and the other person is still feeling like there's there's betrayal, you know, they're just feeling like they're, 
they're still hurting. They're still hurting over something. They just don't have the confidence. They've been hurt so badly in the past. We have one person here that has been hurt so badly that they don't have confidence in themselves. That's sad. Anyhow, now we have this offer and it's like this person has opened up and unblocked and made a decision that this is what I want. This is what I want. And if you see here, there's an opportunity to give to the situation, but there's fear of being left out again, fear of getting hurt again, fear of, you know, not getting enough. So anyway, I feel as though somebody is having a lot of inner mental conflict about a partnership as to whether this is the right choice, whether this is the right option, um, whether they are ready to, you know, come out of a, a hurtful period that they have been in. I think somebody is feeling betrayed or they're feeling hurt or they've been betrayed. Maybe they've been lied to, maybe by a fire sign. I don't know. It feels like somebody has been betrayed. Maybe there's been you know, some sort of, you know, there's some sort of outside attraction, perhaps, you know, that is making, there's some sort of betrayal here. Maybe there was a, I mean, maybe there was a one night stand or something that led to some cheating and the cheating comes out or you feel like you're cheating or who knows what this is. I don't know who this is for. And now somebody has to make a decision. Do they want to stay in this relationship or not? So that's for some of you. I don't know where that came from. Um, and there's an opportunity for love here. There's absolutely an opportunity for happiness and love with somebody that could be successful, but somebody has to make a decision. It looks like make a decision to end something that is painful first, and they just don't have the strength to do so. There's lack of strength over here and lack of strength over here. Lack, lack of strength that, you know, they can do it, whatever that means. Like, they can take the action that they actually want to take. I think whoever this person is wants to head towards this love connection, whoever it is. But to get there, it feels like there's betrayal in the way, you know, to get to where they're going. But anyway, there's an opportunity for wish fulfillment. It's, it's a time of hope. It's a time of inspiration. It's receiving a blessing. So you have an opportunity to, to receive a true blessing if you can give, if you can um, open up, follow your heart, um, make some, maybe you need to make some compromises in your, in your life. To get the wish, wishes that you want, you know, to get what you want, you might have to make some compromises. Maybe, maybe somebody is going through a period of healing still, you know, there's, there's, st there's still a healing pe period here and that's why the, there's distance between these people. I feel like somebody may not be fully emotionally available because maybe there's still time that is needed. Maybe somebody has just gotten out of a relationship or a painful situation and not, and they haven't regained their composure yet. So I don't know who that is, but it's like I'm, I'm in the process of regaining my composure. Therefore, I can't, uh, I can't move forward. I can't make, I can't, I can't offer you anything uh, much because... I'm being logical, you know, I'm, I, somebody's being logical, they're, they're, they're just trying to do the right thing, um, and it's like the decision is being made, it's like somebody is making a decision, I have to, I have to regain my power, I have to regain my structure, I have to regain my stability, I gotta be, be really, really logical here, I think we have a very intelligent individual who is probably afraid to I mean very cold this is kind of like cold but not but not so cold but you know this person is reserved very very reserved and you know not ready to just 
wear his heart on his sleeve, whoever this person is. So I feel like we have an, an individual here who is definitely weary about a connection, weary about letting his guard down, you know, not trusting. I, you know, they, This guy is not trusting. He's like, what are you up to? So whoever you're dealing with may be like, what the, what's up? What's up? You know what I mean? What's up? And um, <laughs> maybe you're trying to protect yourself from getting into a relationship or getting into a partnership or something like that. Woo! Perhaps uh, you've, you're dealing with an individual who is smothering, who is... Uh, Maybe this person is desperate. Maybe this person is, is, or maybe you're coming across as desperate and smothering. I mean, the Empress Reverse is somebody who lacks self-esteem themselves. So somebody that, you know, tries to skip the healing process and doesn't have integrity. So you could be dealing with somebody who... <laughs> is pushy like I said earlier somebody that is pushy and you may be trying to push them back just back up a little bit just back up um, you may be stopping something right in its tracks Capricorn you may you may be like you know what I'm not I'm not gonna be controlled clinging to the past. Somebody is clinging to the memories of the past or clinging to a situation because of children. Somebody may be trying to protect their children, therefore they're not completing a chapter in their life. Could they could be with a, it could be with a wife. There could be a wife that is keeping somebody stuck. I'm sorry to say. I mean an ex-wife even or who knows. There could be somebody that is hindering a relationship could be a wife could be a husband could be an, a partner of the past it could be a past relationship that is hint that's what i think this is i think there's unfinished business with the past that is hindering two people from coming together damn it this is unfinished business with the past So there could be there could be some some individual that is shaking things up for your new love, your new opportunity. Like perhaps this whoever this person is, they're just not they're not happy that you're letting them go. That you decided to not put in effort anymore. Now you got this new flame, you got this new exciting opportunity and you're like taking it and the person from the past isn't happy. I don't know. There's a feeling that there's some sort of betrayal here. But the worst is over. It's like the worst is over, but they're still clinging to the memories of the past that is hindering a relationship from moving forward. Whether it's on your side or the other person's side, there's, there's somebody from the past that is hindering growth in a relationship. It's like there's no growth. Could be another woman, could be another man. Yeah, there's no growth. There's no growth because... Somebody may feel like this is unrealistic. Oh, but there's some sort of love here. There's some sort of love here. So this, I think there, there must be two sides. Change, of course, destiny. I think on one, I think what this is, is there's a choice between two. There's a choice between two. One is the past, one is the future. One, and I think the past is hindering a commitment. It's hindering a connection. It's hindering a new relationship. There's a lot of memories. There's been a lot of hurt. There's been betrayal. There's been selfishness. There has. There's been selfishness. There's been, I mean, with the Five of Swords, there's been some petty arguments. There's been a lot of uh, power struggles here. And it feels like 
you know, somebody has to make that decision about whether they are strong enough to follow their own path and start over or not. And there's fear of starting over. There's fear of perhaps what the kids will think or what the neighbors will think or what the, you know, what everybody else will think. Um, so that that's definitely a fear. But there's definitely an opportunity for love here. And I feel like this opportunity for love is a change. So it's probably somebody new. It's change. So I think that you know there's a but free will plays a part you have to take that step you have to spin that wheel you spin that wheel brings you something better brings you something good so um you have to accept change you gotta let go of control and you gotta go with what is meant to be is meant to be so i think that somebody's holding on to something that isn't meant to be and they have something meant to be right in front of them but they got to take that step Um, there could have been some <coughs> definite deception in the past. Some lies could come out, you know, some, some sort of truth. There's some sort of bitterness that somebody is hanging on to. There is definitely some bitterness and anger, and, you know, that needs to be released just for this relationship to be successful. Um, the new relationship. And I think that the, who, whoever the one is that's in the past... It could be a fire sign, I don't know, or it could be a water sign. We got that underneath there. I don't know who it is, but whoever this person is, they... It was like it was a constant battle with this person. Constant battle. But somebody just doesn't have the, fine, have the strength to... Move forward. Maybe because of the children or because, or because what everybody else has to say. I don't know. Let's get one of these. There's definitely an opportunity for love here. <coughs> it's new love. It is new love. Um, gates of triumph. Success expands in your life. The gates of triumph are waiting to open deep and wide for you. Inner and outer success is coming your way. Thriving is the state of mind. Accept that you can reach any goal you desire. Even more victories will expand in your life. The more you feel it, the more love, prosperity, fame, and fortune will pour into your life. The sacred traveler wants you to know, arriving in a foreign hamlet, wreaths of flowers are placed around the trap, the sacred travelers shoulders the townspeople celebrate and honor the traveler acknowledge your accomplishments in life they are more than you imagine victory good fortune and triumph are ahead follow your own path don't let the past memories and the past hurts hold you back from this love connection If you need more time to heal, you need more time to heal. But we do have a strong love connection here. I think communication is key. It could lead to a success, a happy relationship, and like true love. But somebody needs to take action. I think this is a month of following your intuition. It's going to lead you in the direction that you are supposed to go. Good luck. <laughs>